Okay, this third simulation, we will look at the population of each region and how to adjust the population of individual regions or overall all the regions uh, that make up this arbitrary region that we have, this key-shaped region. Um, to do so, we first, let's look at, let's get the legend up here. Let's look at the um, population map. And here we have population that, populations that are assigned to each region. And um, what we have here, if it says 500, that means 5,000. We multiply it times 10. Okay. Let's go. What we'll do here is first we'll clear the slate. We'll set all the regions to zero. And then we will go to the main map and we'll use a tab on the simulation options window, the population options tab. So what we can do here is we will submit a population of 5,000 across the board to all the regions that make up the area. All right. Now, if naturally, the regions will not all be the same population. So let's change some of the populations in the regions. Let's go to um, region E2 and make that 9,990. And we'll submit it. And then we will also put this, notice that it stays at the same population. We'll submit it. Here it says the name of the region. We're going to submit it. And then we'll go with E2, E2, D2. No, made a mistake. E2, oh, let's forget that. E2, D2. We're going to make that 9,000. 999, E2, D2, and C1. We'll make that 9,999. We'll keep this one as 500. All right. Now, what we'll do also is make F6 1,000, a population of 1,000. E7, a population of 1,000. And then D7, a population of 1,000. And then we'll go down and we'll make these four regions a population of zero. This, this, this one, and this one. So naturally, the regions that have more population will generate more orders. So when we run the project, the simulation, these will generate zero orders. These three regions will generate a low, lower amount of orders than the regions with 5,000. And these three regions here will generate most of the orders. Now, we're speaking about population. However, we can take this a step further and make this the uh, propensity of a certain region to generate orders depending on certain, some type of demographic. Just say that we are a pharmaceutical company and we are delivering um, hypote uh, uh, high blood pressure medicine, which I guess was more for people that are older. So um, or Alzheimer's medicine or whatever. So if there's an older population in these three regions, we can set the population level higher because these regions will have more propensity to generate orders. Also, just say we don't want to deliver to these four regions, not because of it's a, it has a low population or because it has a high crime level or because they are doing some construction on a uh, new freeway there and it delays traffic or there has just been a terrorist threat. So we set these regions to zero to not generate any orders for this particular simulation. Okay, we go back to the main map now. And again, remember, try to remember the, uh, or I will, 
I will tell what regions we set the population to what as we move on, but let's keep an eye out. We'll set this for five-day simulation. We'll do 500 orders, and we will run the project. Now, this says simulation zero. That's just because we have not designated more than one simulation. Uh, if you can recall in the second simulation, simulation number two, that we ran two simulations, and this indeed turned to a one. Um, so we're only running one simulation. It says simulation zero because we opened up the simulation options uh, window to set the population or population map. Now it's just showing... Um, now, see these four regions here, B10 and down, have zero population. They're not generating any orders. Okay. Um, now, what should E2, D2, and C1? E2, D2, and C1. These three regions should start generating more orders. E2 and C1 are generating more orders than what looks like to be the average, because they are red now. They have generated between 6 and 10 orders. D2 is being a little more sluggish for some reason. Um, but there is definitely no regions that have generated more orders than, well, G2 has generated more orders, as we can see, 11 to 15 orders. So um, just as a reminder that uh, we can see region D4 here has one order outstanding. Now it has been delivered. Um, region F1 has two orders. And there's a truck that has not been, has been sent, okay, delivered to. We are still looking at E2, D2, and C1. E2, D2, and C1. Okay, we have, they're yellow, so they are higher than average. D2 is still not performing as quite as well as we are hoping that it would or thinking that it would. Okay, we're approaching 500 orders. E2 and C1 are yellow. That means they have generated between 11 and 15 orders. E2, okay, so we got, now E2 shows that it has generated more orders than average. D2 and C1 have generated between 11 and 15 orders, which is still more than the average, which the average looks like between 6 and 10 orders. So between these three regions, yes, they have generated more orders because they have a higher population. F6, E7, and D7, F6, E7, and D7 have generated lower than the rest of the regions uh, between 1 and 5 orders. Okay, now it's calculating the reports in the back, generating the data. Okay, now if we go to the report dashboard and we look at these regions that have not generated any orders, of course, we set them to zero. The high-level regions, the high-performing regions, was E2, D2, and C1. E2 right here, D2 right here, and C1. So they have, the graph shows that with the higher population, that they have generated more orders. The uh, lower performing region should be F6. It should be F6 right here, of course. E7, right? And D7, which they are. So it shows that the application is working as programmed and it is generating more orders per quote unquote population settings. We can go to population report also to show the population uh, graphically per regions and also um, statistically uh, per region. It just show, uh, We can use this for statistical analyses later on in conjunction with other reports. Um, this would be a good time to show the settings report. I'll go over this later. Um, it shows a number of orders for the simulation. Uh, and so on, number simulations, the duration of deliveries, and so on. Here we have
it shows the population times 10, as we have said it, and I will cover these other aspects later. The last thing I want to mention for this simulation is that um, the regions can be anywhere. Right now, they are just arbitrarily uh, set, but each region can be anywhere between 500 square miles or 500 square feet. So the we have not designated the actual square, uh, the square areas of the regions yet, which um, is something that we should discuss discuss later. Regardless, here's the end picture of the simulation. We said five days, and indeed ran for five days.